been a GMC Sierra 2009. Transmission was rebuilt. Three, four clutches was uh, part of the clutches burnt up. However, before we uh, did anything to this transmission, we did a pre-scan, and one code that came up was a P0101 mass airflow sensor. Mass airflow sensor will burn a 4060 transmission up, okay, because the computer cannot see how to control the pressure in the transmission. So I'm concerned about this and I want to see something and the way I look at it is I have some parameter here. Okay, first gear, uh, the pressure control actual current in amps and I have pressure control reference current, pressure control duty, uh, solenoid duty cycle and transmission slip counter. But what I look at mainly is the uh, pressure control actual current. Now, what I'm looking for is for this current to drop down. The lower the current, the higher the pressure, okay? So when I step on an accelerator, I look for this current to drop down to at least uh, four something. I think 0.45, sometime 0.3, not to stay up. Um, this this is how I'm determining it, ter determining if the transmission is actually uh, computer is actually making pressure uh, or t you know commanding pressure. Okay, so um, I'm going to drive and then I'm going to go through the gears. So I'm in drive gear now. I'm going to drive and then I'm going to look at that pressure and when I step on the gas accelerate I expect for that to drop down now it's in second gear shifting good when you drive slowly so in third gear fourth gear very easy in fourth gear now I'm driving. What I'm going to do, I'm going to really press on the accelerator. I uh, hate doing this because I want to burn this transmission up, but let's see what it dropped down to. I stepped it. It didn't. It slipped. Well, I went all the way to the floor. And... Uh, it's not doing like it's supposed to now this has a, a, a lean code in one of my scanners it shows a, the mass airflow sensor code and it shows some lean codes but in another scanner it only shows lean bank one lean bank two um, and the only thing that can affect both banks will be a mass airflow because the the air goes through the mass airflow first before it goes to the bank. So I don't like this. It will probably burn the transmission back up. So I'm going to change the mass airflow sensor on this. And then I'll go from there. I can tell because I'll be able to actually take off like I want to take off. So right now it's slipping. turn around <clears throat> shucks <clears throat> nope <sighs> okay In second gear I'm gonna gun on this thing go right Got people in the way fourth gear I'm going to See it slipped. 
it slipped and it didn't go down like it's supposed to okay hmm. if y'all heard that hopefully you can hear how the motor revved up you gotta see if this mass airflow sensor is <sighs> is okay or not hmm. go back Okay, this is a uh, this 2009 um, uh, 2009 uh, GMC Sierra, and I put a different mass air a new mass airflow sensor on here, but I got the air filter off, which was dirty. I'll show you that. I'm gonna put a different air um, filter on there. Maybe it will have a bearing on the reading, but at the moment, this is a 5.3 and is reading about eight you know uh, what is it eight six to eight grams now which is higher when it was reading 4.9 and only five grams at an idle so it's higher so we want to see how this work with this new mass airflow All right, folks, I'm up here driving this vehicle and I'm back to the transmission side. Here you see the pressure control solenoid actual current, which we were looking at. And I'm gonna take off, we're gonna, you're gonna see, um, let me see here, what the amps do. Even when I take off, it goes down now to about 60. So I'm taking off now and you look at that. Uh oh, make sure I don't hit nothing. See, 64 went there. Now I'm going to, we even went to 43. So it's going down. So it's making pressure. That is the actual current in that, the lower. Now I'm going to take off, put my foot to the floor. Went down to 50, 92, and it's not slipping either. It's not slipping. Let me take off again. Go to the It went down 0.27 you saw that so now it's doing what it's supposed to do and the clutches is not slipping see um, that is it's hard for me to show this while I'm driving but that is the pressure control solenoid actual current I'm looking at and what it's doing is allowing me to see if the um, computer is actually making pressure or telling the solenoid to uh, make pressure when I ask for more pressure by pressing on the accelerator. Um, before it dropped to 80 and went right back to 107 or something like that, and the clutches were slipping. So I don't care how many transmissions was put in here, if that mass airflow center problem wouldn't fix, then you would burn the transmission up over and over and over again because the dealers, uh, the manufacturers, connected the transmission. Uh, the mass airflow to the transmission so this is just showing you what it would do and that's it this car is ready to go okay I took the mass airflow sensor off which is right here and put a new one on and I I took out the air filter which is here this air filter is one of these fancy type cone ones I'm not a fan of these. They say you can wash them out or something. I don't like doing that. Just change it to a new one because you can never clean it as 
well as a new one and it's important not to be blocking the airflow that's coming through this mass airflow sensor also if it's dirty it will mess it up so I just have it out and I'll just let the customer uh, get another one and put it in hopefully you don't put this back one in because he had messed that up and then end up messing the transmission up so let's let this down